okay guys welcome to my channel and this tutorial we will see how to make 3d topographic map in qgis software so i'm using qgis 3.2 the latest version and when we open it we will get this kind of windows so uh, we go to the first template or the first blank template these are previously created projects for uh, recent work I will open the new MPT project it is EPSGS or coordinate reference system is WGS84 I select this and let this blank window will open so um, what we are going to do to today is that we are going to prepare 3d topographic map using digital elevation model so to do so we add our data i am using dem allo sparser dem 12.5 meter resolution and then we go to this browser and add the data from the driver <coughs> mine is in the desktop so i go home here desktop I put it in new folder then I'm using this elevation and drag and drop it in this blank window like this it's adding and the layer is visible now so here we can see the range or the histogram of the image the digital version model and the zero for the black one and uh, increasing to the gray and white level with 100 1684 and if we wanted to change the color ramp of this digital version model we go here and double click or right click on the layer and the property right click on it property then here we get the attribute or the description about the input data and we will see all the necessary information about the input data here we can check the transparency of this data and we reduce it if you want to see if there is another layer under this we can easily see by reducing the transparency of the first layer and here under the symbology we can change different um, properties of the input layer and here i want to change the histogram of the black and the white to uh, another interactive colors color name so here under the render type go to this layer and uh, select single one pseudo color then here uh, we get another color combination if you want to change from this color click here and uh, you can add uh, the color the most appropriate color to express this desalvation model so here also you can show all color ramps in this uh, build, or you can create a new color ramp so to create a new color ramp i am using the color cptct and say click ok So here uh, we get another window and we shall, you can select any kind of color that you want to represent. So for each uh, type of for each type of entity or data types we can produce or we can use different kind of color ramp or color representation. For example for represent uh, to preserve, represent the precipitation we can use this kind of color ramps and uh, for green areas we can use this kind of colors and uh, diverging for example and the uh, basimetry also you can use for each types of data types we have we have different kinds of uh, color ramps so here also for vegetation for temperature for example it has different color combination and we select 
the appropriate one for each uh, data types for here or for example uh, under topography here is an elevation data elevation with a color ramp for grass or elevation and also we can here you can see here top of the cpt plan plates here also we can get elevation so as this is elevation or this elevation model or topographic model we can use this color uh, combination or color lamp to <coughs> colorize our salvation model so select this color ramp and just click ok and finally apply we will get this beautiful uh, representation of detail elevation model another in the we will, if you want to check another property of this uh, uh, input the our desalivation model can be source under source you see the the coordinate difference system of the input data and it is under the utm zone 17 nodes in the diagram of uh, wgs 84 so uh, we continue to the next step so, here uh, we wanted to for example create a hill shade from this dm and to do this come here in the search hill hill shade and uh, it has been used uh, recently so select this hill shade okay. and select input layer input layer is of course the television model and then we can add or increase the z factor or the extrusion factor of the elevation data the other one is azimuth horizontal or horizontal angle uh, keep it as a default and uh, give the output uh, file location i am using the temporary file location finally run the dm so this l shade computation is completed so if we see this we have created this interactive field shade of this area using dm and also we can colorize this field shade and then we can put this under DEM and uh, reduce the transparency of DEM layer we can get this yeah this beautiful color of elevation in the, the hill shade view so to create this or to show this in 3d map on this 3d topography we will go here view and uh, new 3d map and the 3d map layer is open here let's resize it put it in the center yeah here so uh, to change to change uh, this uh, 2d view to 3d view scroll or hold the scroll and uh, drag it like this finally we get the 3d view of this location we can change the different perspective of the view of this angle so here we go to the setting and the configuration under the terrain select the type of terrain as dm raster and this warning you that the elevation layer has to be the dm train so select 
dem here and then we can add vertical scale here like three this is too much but we can use two and we have to increase the tile resolution in order to get the full uh, pixels of this uh, this data so i'm using 100 pixels and also here i'm adding 50 then after apply okay so we get this interactive view of 3d view of this area so if you want to add the base map for google imagery on this to get the actual topographic view of this area go to your here wave or here i have under xy tile i have added where is it i have added google satellite imagery or google hybrid imagery so drag and drop it on the window let's come here finally we get the 3d of this area actual topography of this area like this we can change the vertical extrusion and the angle view of this 3d topography So finally we can export your uh, work, your 3D work, export scene, you can rename it and uh, give the location of the file and uh, use terrain resolution and uh, terrain texture resolution as default and uh, export OK. It's loading. so by following this step you can create a really topographic view of your area your area using this uh, QGIS software so i hope you have enjoyed my video if you like it please subscribe to my channel and comment like and suggest thank you